Hey everyone, we're going to do a love reading, see what's coming in for you guys, okay? If you're new to my channel, hey, I'm Crystal. Okay, so first card that came out is Children, Deception, Free Yourself. Some of you guys might be stuck in a connection because of children, okay? And some of you guys, um, and you have getting to know each other. So some of you guys might be getting to know each other, somebody else on the, other, on the other side of this, right? But I do feel like children are affecting your um, connection right now. You may be staying in a connection because you have kids or maybe because um, finances or something like this. You may be deceiving yourself thinking that, you know, you, you have to stay stuck. The Spirit's saying you don't have to stay stuck. Uh, free yourself, okay? It's time to take back control of your life. It's time to do things the way that you want to do it. Stop settling for less, okay? With the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Swords, it's like your wish is around the corner, but you're going the other way, okay? Only take this what if it resonates for you. If it doesn't resonate for you, then it's not your message. But some of you guys are turning your back on something that you've wished for because maybe this is too hard to let go of, okay? Some of you guys... I'm starting to shake. Some of you guys might have like anxiety or be like really nervous about leaving a specific, you know, this connection. Let's see what's on the other side of this. If you were to walk away, the eight of wands, which is like freeing yourself. You have the ten of pentacles, long, long term stability. This is still like happily family, like things will still be OK for you. You'll still be able to have money. You'll still be, um, you know. I feel like you're not even going to expect that it would be this good, but some of you guys are still either holding on to a connection or holding on to a person from the past that you guys are not allowing yourself to break free from, and this could be blocking a wish of yours, okay? The Seven of Swords and the Nine of Cups, it's like, you know... And you might be dealing with somebody who's lying, Deception and the Seven of Swords... You know, in the same reading, it's like you might be dealing with people who's lying, cheating, stealing, taking your energy, taking your time. Like, I am I just heard changing your character. So, you know, you have the Ace of Cups. So you have new things coming in for you. And the Ace of Cups is like, uh, it's kind of like emotionally freeing yourself. Also, it's just... To me, it's like water, so it's like going with the flow, right? And all the water on here are smooth, so it's like it's going to be a lot more calmer, okay? It's not going to be as rocky as this. Like, you feel like you're, like, tied up. You see how this, like, horse is in this corral right here? I feel like you guys are feeling stuck, okay? You may be, like, doing too much, putting so much energy into something, but then you're really not getting anything back, if you guys know that the situation that you guys are in, the only reason why you're staying is because of the kids or because of you don't know what's to come next, believe me, there's so much better, okay? There's so much better. We only have one life to live, right? So you got to live your life for you. Do what makes you happy. Don't keep yourself stuck. As long as you're happy, if this is about your children, as long as you're happy, your kid is going to be happy. If they see you happy, it'll show them that, it, okay, well, they got over this. You know, I, I could do it too. It's, it's, you know, it's like a trickling effect. I don't know how to explain it sometimes, but believe me, if you can, do, you know, just set your mind to putting your foot down, making plans, and then doing them, and then you do it, believe me, it's going to feel so much better. The Page of Cups. You got a lot of cards over here being... Talking about freeness and, you know, just a lot of love. A lot of love and a lot of stability. So, let's see what the Seven of Swords is. The Queen of Wands. It could be something that causes a lot of drama. Okay. Um, you may have lost your confidence in this. You feel like you're missing out on opportunities. You feel ignored. You don't feel appreciated. You don't feel wanted. Right? The Six of Swords. There's a lot of, like... Lower vibrational energy here, a lot of detached. Maybe you guys don't even communicate to your person as much. Like, there might not be a lot of, like, good conversation going on or any at all. You have the moon. There's a lot of fear of walking away. 
this has been something that has been going on for a while. The Nine of Wands is like, you know, patterns, the wounded warrior. This is somebody who feels like they're keep on being like pulled back into like a cave, a deep dark cave. And with all these darker cards, like all of these darker cards on this side. But then like look on this side. If you were to like move forward, like you got all the blue, you got the white light from the sun. You know what I mean? You got celebrations. You got your wish, okay, over here on this side. But I do feel like you guys are keeping yourself stuck for something that might not even be so big anymore, right? I do feel like there, of course, there used to be love there in the past. But with the Page of Swords, I feel like you don't trust this person. You got the Moon, which is about secrets. The Seven of Swords, which is about lies. Deception. Page of Swords, which is about, like, doing detective work. Maybe you feel like you're a detective. Maybe you feel like you always catch this person in a lie. Or maybe you feel like this person's always trying to get the better of you or to keep you stuck. Wheel of Fortune is very unpredictable. It's like you never know what you're going to get with this person. It's like a box of chocolates, right? So it's like every day is a different day. And it's kind of like the same shit, though, right? So we're going to find out. Because on this side, I feel like there's another person coming in. A Nine of Cups, getting to know each other. Page of Cups, Ace of Cups. Okay, so I do feel like you have another person coming in for you. And if you hear my voice shaking, it's because I'm just getting over being sick. So I am like... <clears throat> I, okay, Five of Cups, King of Swords, Five of Wands, The Fool. This is all internal, okay? I feel like your passions and your heart, they're just kind of blocked. Like, I feel like you may have learned how to block off your heart, too. It's like you may want love, right? You may be, like, texting somebody on the side or something like this, right? I do feel like... Um, I don't think this specific person is going to be somebody that's long term. I feel like this person that you're talking to may help you kind of be like a catalyst to get yourself out of something, right? You might be getting a lot of attention from this person. I really... F Sorry, somebody came here and I had to... Clear off my table, forgot what cards were out. But anyway, let's see what this wish is that you guys are wishing for that you may like be blocking yourself from. The sun, happiness, clarity, your own truth, you know, standing in your own power, freeing yourself of something. If you've been wishing to be free, if you've been wishing for things to get easier, that is coming, but it also comes with you making that decision, right? As I'm saying that the two of wands, it's in your hands. The decision is in your hands, right? This is your choice, Spirit is saying. So, yeah, nine of cups. Like, this is your choice to go towards your wish. Like, we were just talking about your dream, you know, your wish that was being blocked. And your wish is still there. You didn't lose it. You have the lovers. This is your choice. The lovers is also a card of a choice, okay? If you guys been wishing for a new love, a new romantic uh, partner that you're seeking or whatever, it is out there. There are other people out there. You just have to look for it. You have to go out there and find it. You have the chariot. Yeah, you have to go and look for it. Okay, so Spirit is saying this is all in your hands. You know, it's all in your hands. So let's see. Do you, if you have a specific person on your mind, what's going on with this person? Oh, my Lord, Ace. The Eight of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, this person may be working um, to try to get themselves out of a financial hole, okay? Um, the specific person on your mind, okay? I do feel like this person could have ghosted you or walked away from you or just kind of like abandoned you and hurt you in some type of way. And now they stress out because of that. They do owe you an apology, okay? With the Page of Wands and the Knight of Cups. This is somebody who could be very romantic, somebody that loves to have adventures, somebody that loves to have fun um, and go out and do things, right? This is not somebody that likes to just sit in the house. Um, this is somebody that is um, 
I feel like they have a lot of love for you, but they're being very patient. They may know that you're in this other connection and they're, they're waiting for you. The Ten of Wands. But it's starting to be too hard. They could have been waiting a really long time. The Page of Cups. I feel like this person's constantly daydreaming of you, thinking of you. They hold you. They hold a torch for you. And the Three of Cups. Yeah. There's a lot of cups. This person that you are, um, the specific person that's on your mind has a lot of love for you. I don't think that they would ever lose it, but I feel like this person might be growing a little bit impatient because they have a lot of things on their shoulders. I feel like this person's been waiting and waiting. And with the moon, they're a little bit nervous that things are not going to fall through. Yeah, they're nervous that, you know, they're confused. They don't know if this is ever going to be a thing. The four of swords and the page of swords. So, yeah, they're always thinking about you. I think they even check your social media and check up on you to see if you're, like, uh, still connected to this person or still married or whatever. They do a lot of, but it's quiet. They don't, they don't let it be known. So this could be from, like, a private account or, you know, yeah, the king of pentacles. I feel like this person wants to provide for you. Okay, I feel like this person wants to take care of you. Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this person sees you as like they're happily ever after and they want to provide for you, take care of you, you know, shower you with love, take you out, you know, enjoy time together. But I feel like this person might be growing a little bit impatient now. The Temperance card is I'm saying that. It's like they will wait because they know the love is there, is very strong, but... I feel like they're starting to almost lose hope. They're trying, they may even, for some, be trying to manifest you, um, manifest this quicker breakup here, you know, so this way they can come through and, you know, have you to themselves. I do feel the connection that you guys are in right now that you're staying stuck in, it's like it kind of ran its course already. Yeah, and I do feel like now is time to act, okay? Because that's what I'm seeing. Three of Pentacles, time to get to work, right? Time to make that decision, okay? For your own self, your own happiness, you know? Don't keep yourself stuck if you don't want to stay stuck, if you're not happy, okay? Because you're not really helping yourself. Get a message from the person that's on your mind. Anxiously waiting. I'm telling you, this person's waiting for you. They search for you in everything. They feel you everywhere. You're always in the back of their mind. They're always hoping that maybe they will run into this, <laughs> to you in the store. You have unfounded fear. They're afraid to trust and get hurt. The illusion is keeping them locked in anxiety. And then boundaries. So... This person feels the boundaries. This person feels the walls. That's why they're staying away. Okay, but they are like impatiently, anxiously waiting for you. You have fairy tale. And I don't know how this card came out, but you have the queen of swords. So I do feel like this person wants to communicate to you. That's weird. It wasn't even supposed to be in this deck. But they think that this love is like a fairy tale. Oh my God, do I not know how to talk? Okay. To them, you're too perfect, and it's like they would wait forever for you, okay? They really would. I feel like even if you were to be like another 10 years in this connection, they'd still be waiting for you. And once you freed yourself, it's like they'd drop anybody for you. That's what I see. So anyway, that's what I got for you guys. If it resonates, please like and subscribe, and have a great day. Toodles.